After three months of regimented training and diet, I decided to take a break, hit up the beach, and eat whatever I wanted. That's right, completely letting myself go round two. This time, I'm doing it differently. Taking your suggestions, exploring some restaurants. This is what happened to my body. But you gotta focus. As we made our way to our destination, Sarasota, Florida. I should clarify, last year when I did this, going into this vacation, I had cut down to around 190 pounds. This time, however, those three months of regimented diet and training I talked about in the intro of this video was a bulk. So I'm starting this vacation of completely letting myself go at approximately 203.5 pounds. A huge question I was wondering is would I blast through this bulk plateau of around 200 to 205 pounds by the end of this vacation? <laughs> we'll just find out. Now I had a bit of a soft start. Day one, some Whole Foods chicken potatoes, macaroni, and a little salad. Later, a 16 ounce ribeye from the resort restaurant with a baked sweet potato on the side. Later, some Italian gelato, followed by chicken lunch meat and some whole milk while watching Triple D. I know it sounds weird, but I'm eating whatever I want, letting myself go. Maybe my palate has changed, but don't worry, I will be going out and exploring some new restaurants soon. Not just eating solely at the Whole Foods hot bar, kind of like last time, all right? Just wait. Now on day two, I started the day with my first and only real workout of this trip. Exploring a new local gym that was popping off on social media, Amped Fitness. This gym was cool. A lot of room, nice equipment, and crazy lighting. Really crazy in this upstairs room, it was like all black light, but on the main gym floor it was still pretty gnarly. If you're in the Sarasota, Florida area and you haven't checked this gym out, what are you doing? Now after this workout I did hit up Whole Foods for some Florida orange juice, a chicken, pineapple, and a salad. But this was just a warm up for the real lunch. Seriously, straight from there we went to a Greek restaurant that was highly recommended. Blue. Starting with some meatballs and tzatziki, absolutely delicious. And then for my main course, I got the meat patties and potatoes. It sounds basic, but holy smokes, the flavor was undeniable. And it was nice and hot. I absolutely loved it. So this was gonna set the tone for the rest of the vacation. Getting absolutely wild. At least wild to me, all right? Oh. Later for dinner, back to Whole Foods. <laughs> Psych, it was just to get an orange juice. Free game. Nah, for dinner, off to a highly recommended Italian restaurant. I got the chicken angel hair pasta with basil and olive oil sauce and a margarita pizza. I ate half the pizza and almost all of the pasta, so I had a little bit of leftovers for the hotel room later. But in between some Italian gelato, this time I got some lemoncello, absolutely delicious. When you have three hands. And that salty to sweet literally sparked my desire for salty again right when I got back to the hotel room finishing off my leftover pasta. Day two, absolutely delicious. And conquering my eating out at a restaurant fear, I was now unleashed. Kind of. The next morning, still full from the night before, I just had some black coffee out of a Keurig. And then the wife and I actually headed over to a local public pickleball spot that was popping off. After playing a couple rounds and then getting smoked playing doubles, my appetite was worked up. Back to the Greek restaurant because it was delicious. I got some rice this time with the meatballs for my appetizer. And then for my main course for lunch, I got the meat patties again because it was good, okay? and then some gelato again, but this time I got mint chocolate chip. Absolutely delicious. Okay, but seriously, check out this post-lunch fullness. I feel like never have I ever looked this full before. Maybe it was the lighting, maybe it was the salt in the food, I, I don't know, but in my opinion, the biggest I've looked since I've been balking. No, I forgot to film it, but I had another steak and potatoes for dinner. 
The next day, starting with a brunch that was basically just chicken, rice, and some salad from the Whole Foods hot bar, it looked really fresh and I just got it. And it was good. Then exploring some local beaches with some friends, and I almost forgot to film anything at all, but for dinner back to an Italian restaurant where I got some spicy pasta rigatoni tomato sauce with chicken. And then back to the resort room where I got my first order of room service ever, a cheeseburger and fries. This was absolutely delicious, but dang, after this day I was feeling like this water bottle. Anyways, the next morning the weather was absolutely beautiful, the sun was out, and I wanted to capitalize on the relaxation and vitamin D, so we hit up the beach for a serene time. Who reads? Who reads? <laughs> Read books? You gotta, you gotta influence on vacation, not read books. I mean, for real though, how are you even reading that right now? What do you mean? Like, look at that page. It's not that bad. It's like flipping and flopping. You're smart. I hope you know I'm just joking around. But on the beach, I just kind of played around in the sand and collected seashells. I know, what am I, like, four or, like, 78? I don't know. Happy Valentine's Day. That'll do. That'll do. Anyways, for lunch, back to the Greek restaurant where I got the meat patties again. Listen, I'm kind of the type of guy, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And these were so delicious, I was basically having them every day. <laughs> that was not smooth. Later in the evening, dang, what a beautiful sunset in January in Florida. Holy smokes. But then taking my lady out to a very special dinner at a very special place. It's a really cool P.F. Chang's. If you didn't catch that, that's P.F. Chang's. I know it's not a restaurant that's specifically only in that area, but it sounded good, and it was good, and it was a cool P.F. Chang's. I got vegetable lo mein with Chang's spicy chicken, white rice, and some lettuce wraps that I split with the wife for an appetizer. Pretty big meal. Oh. Now the next day I was starting to notice I was looking a little top heavy. No, not just as expected, right? Getting a little bit more bloated, but I felt like my legs were actually starting to look smaller. For that one gym session in the beginning of this vacation was going to be the only workout I was going to have for over a week. And that workout was upper body. Perhaps I was recomping and not in the good way. Anyways, back to the Greek restaurant for lunch. We were literally becoming friends with the waiters at this point. By the way, extremely good hospitality, and as returning customers, they actually hooked us up with some authentic imported Greek spices. Absolutely delicious. And to change it up, I did get the lamb shank this time. Super good and wholesome. Later in the afternoon, I had some buffalo hot wings from the Whole Foods Hot Bar, forgive me. And then for dinner, a 16 ounce dry aged ribeye steak with some garlic mashed potatoes from the resort's restaurant. All done. Okay, the next day back to the Greek restaurant. Yes, where I got some fried cheese sticks and the wife got a beef pita wrap with some french fries and I'm pretty certain all of this stuff is actually fried in olive oil, which is like unheard of nowadays. Oh, and then I got the beef patties for my main course and some pita and hummus on the side. Delicious! That's the place. Best like, restaurant ever. They hooked me up with a free chocolate too. Then some more Italian gelato, trying new flavors. Some caramel waffle cone and some vanilla. Dude, let me tell you, I was spinning in Flava Town. And later that night back to the resort restaurant because it was really good. I got a skirt steak tostada and then another 16 ounce ribeye with a sweet potato. And just like that, vacation was coming to an end. But I wasn't going out without a fight. Getting a chicken quesadilla ordered poolside at the resort, man, I was feeling fancy. And then finishing this off with the resort's butter pecan gelato. Once again, super delicious. Dang, I know, why do we have to go? Hot, hot, hot. Bye, bye. So what was the damage done? How did my body look compared to just one week earlier? Did I burst through my plateau of around 205 pounds? 
Let's see what taking an entire week off of regimented training and specific dieting would do. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the results. Two o four point four. That is only point one pounds higher than my all-time heaviest. Vacation beer, though. Holy smokes. Okay, but let's look at the side by sides. At first glance, I feel like I actually appear like I'm looking better in the afters. Now, flex from the front, I feel like my waist looks even tighter. However, from the side, you can kind of see it looks like I may have lost a little size in my arms. And then from the back, I don't seem as full or wide as well. Also doing a basic pinch test, I feel like I got a little fatter. And then supporting my hypothesis in the middle of this video, it does look like my legs got smaller. So maybe it was mainly the tan that was making me look better initially in these comparisons. However, there's a few things. For one, I felt relaxed and refreshed after this one week break from basically everything. Also, I do have to say, unlike last time, going into this vacation already being on a bulk, my overall palate was different. Rather than eating a ton of sweets, cookies, etc., kind of like last time, this time, other than ice cream, all I really had was hearty, wholesome meals. But that's really what I was craving. Also, unlike last time where I gained about 10 pounds, this time I basically ended up gaining nothing. Now, obviously, and like I just mentioned, for one, I was already on a bulk before going on vacation. But two, if we look back at some of the days, the estimations show that I didn't actually eat as many calories as I may have thought. In fact, if we take the average calories from these several days, not including the last half day, it is only around 3,700 calories. Prior to this, during my bulk I was eating around 4,000 calories a day. Also the added walking on vacation could have led to further burning of more calories. And I also aside from the first day basically took the entire week off from training. Now I still did end up slightly heavier. But could this just be due to water retention from different types of food? Perhaps with more salt? One thing is for certain though this was the refreshing break I needed and I will be excited to get back into training, and hopefully being refreshed, I will be able to blast through some more plateaus. All in all, I think that was a nice, I guess call it reset or just refresh. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope it was entertaining. Don't forget to subscribe, stay tuned. More videos coming out. Hope you all have a great day. Peace. I will see you all in the next video.